you're not the only person that's ever gone through this. You may not know anybody right now, but there are people out there that even just having that similar experience, it might not be your exact experience, but something similar, no, they understand how you feel. I'm Mike Pollard, 36 years old, and a father of five children, two of which <laughs> are with me today. <laughs> Three, unfortunately, uh, just now hot. And it started over five years ago when we tried to start a family. Unfortunately, we've been through two miscarriages and we've also lost three sons to stillbirth. Uh, twin boys were stillborn in October 2017 um, at 19 weeks old, Harrison and Jake. Um, due to my wife going into septic shock and that brought on early labour. Um, and then August 2018, um, my son Zach was still born at 24 weeks. Um, we've thankfully gone on to have two rainbow babies. Um, Noah was born April 2020 and um, Maddie came into our world uh, October 2021. Yeah. People don't talk about loss. It's a total heartbreak. It knocks totally a blow to the stomach, you know. It's, it really disorientates your world. And I'm thankful my wife's still here because when we lost the twins, when she had sepsis, I could have lost her too, and she's still here. And I nearly lost my whole world in one instance, and I, thankfully I didn't. But it brought us closer together, and from that day onwards, you know, she's, she's been my rock, I've been her rock. And you, we really found looking after number one, you've got to look after yourself to be able to look after others. And I've had to go through that journey of talking to people, you know, sorting my mental health out. And it's not been easy. I've, I've got a stressful job. Life is stressful in general, the last few years especially, but I've found it within myself to forget about the small worries in life and focus on the, the important things. I think she had a lot of initial support and I had to be the strong one and I was still going to back to work and I was still having to provide. Maternity leave is still granted after the birth so my wife was able to take some time whereas I wasn't. So she might have been at home with her own thoughts or keeping herself busy whereas I was having to suppress it to carry on and I do think it's come out at a later time. So SANS, which are the Stillbirth and Neonatal Death Charity, I wasn't aware of them until we were provided a room to um, have at the hospital with me and my wife. It was a double bed and we could have the cold cot in the room with us. And it was two o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep. My wife was a, asleep in the bed and I'm just looking through all the leaflets on the table in front of us and one of them was a SANS leaflet. Reading further, they had telephone lines, they had support groups locally meeting up and yeah, they do amazing things and they really helped me, especially that phone call the day before the funeral. It was, um, my wife went out, I was just sat in my own thoughts, I needed to, I didn't even say too much on the phone to be honest, I just listened and answered a couple of questions and it was enough that I needed and that's, I always swear by that and tell other people I come across that that story and, and how it helped me in that moment of need and I'll ever be grateful for for the support they provided me so now I'm trying to spin that and help people myself. Um, the Sands United shirt that I'm wearing now is a team that I've created for bereaved dads but not just the dads as well it's also it might be your best friend or it might be your uncle like the support circle around the dad anyone that he spoke to. I think we've almost crossed now where I feel like I'm getting all the support because of the football team that I've created and my wife's support has dropped off. Now everyone thinks she's had babies, she's okay. When you've lost a child, I think hope is massive to cling on to. We went under Tommy's 
multiple miscarriage clinic up at Paddington Hospital. The reassurance we got of what we can put in place to have a successful pregnancy really put us at ease and allowed us to focus on a whole new pregnancy. But the hope we had was through seeing other people that had gone on to have. Even at the support group, the SAN support group we went to, we spoke to parents that had gone on to have a baby and what the, and it just got us thinking and understanding what can we do differently um, if, if there is an issue how can we overcome this issue and that hope was there from them groups and it gave us that strength to, to try hope hold on to it as tight as you can and don't give up uh, there's so much help out there and advice that helped us and I'm sure it can definitely help others as well.